Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. These are our peak wind gusts so far, 47 miles per hour down here in Vincennes. We've got a report of several hundred without power in Knox County. Also, quite a few over here in Owen County without power. 36 mile per hour wind gusts at the airport in Terre Haute. We've hit 38 here at the TV station, 43 over here in the Mattoon area. The wind is going to be a little stronger farther south, a little bit less to the north. 29 mile per hour gusts, that's up there in Danville. But windy all across the region. So all of these shaded counties, most of our viewing area, are under a high wind warning. That's where the winds will be the strongest. Up north, as I talked about in Danville area, it's still gonna be windy, but that's a wind advisory for the far north. Yep, there are a few fo football games going on, including you just saw from over there in uh, West Terre Haute, West Vigo. Look at that though, showers in 67. The key here is the wind. These northeast winds, 25 to 30 gusting, at least at the start of the ball games, maybe up to 50, 55 miles per hour. A lot of wind coming in from the northeast. I wanted to show you this also. These are current power outages in the state of Indiana. We have over 26,000 without power, over 3,000 in Illinois. So the two-state area has over 30,000 without power now. In our area right now, the two counties with the most would be uh, Owen County and Knox County in Indiana. Uh, several hundred in both of those counties without power. And there's going to be some more power outages. So just be prepared for that as we head through the evening. The strongest winds are happening right now across the area. We hit 70 for the high today. 65 has been our low. Rainfall here at the TV station so far has picked up about three quarters of an inch, 0.7 to be exact. We're up to 1.89 inches here so far for the month, but there's more on the way tonight, tomorrow, and even some showers on Sunday. River in Terre Haute's about three and a half feet. It is currently stationary. This is what we're looking at then. As we take you through time, windy tonight. That's the big story. Showers tonight, tomorrow, and still some on Sunday. Less wind over the weekend, though. That's good news. And then next week, actually, next week's looking really nice. Here's our cycle cast for 7 o'clock this evening. Still a pretty high chance of rain. The wind, those are steady winds north at 26 miles per hour. And the joint water tower forecast, Christman, Illinois, still some showers in 63. It'll be windy, but the wind will be less late tonight compared to what we have right now. Temperatures cooler today because of the clouds and rain pretty much in the 60s out there. Now, look at this thing. This is a huge storm. By the way, this shading on this map that indicates extremely dry air, and this is interesting. This storm is so big, it's wrapping around dry air and pulling it in from the south. Usually you have more moisture from the south. This is all very dry air coming in and cutting off the rain here in Kentucky and Tennessee, and even parts of southern Indiana now starting to see the rain kind of cut off a little bit. But this whole thing is spinning around south of the area, and that's where it's going to stay for the weekend as it slowly starts to weaken. But you can see the progression, heavier rains to the south, lighter amounts to the north. We're not showing much rain in Champaign, but everybody else looking at rain we got flood warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings off to the east of this area. So overnight rain at times though drier air will work in and cut off the rain for a bit. Bands of showers will continue into the day for tomorrow and tomorrow night, although not as heavy. And as we get into Sunday, there'll still be some scattered showers on Sunday, but as the day wears on Sunday, those really start to dry up. And I think by Monday morning, pretty much rain showers will be over. This is rainfall on top of what we've already gotten. Some areas will still pick up another inch, inch and a half. As you see, lighter amounts off to the north, but still some pretty good rain will fall between now and the end of the upcoming weekend. So we're still looking at some pretty good rain. And the wind reaching its peak now, notice by about 10 o'clock, the stronger wind Winds start to push to the west as that system moves that way. By, say, 1 in the morning, we're still going to be windy, but not as windy. Tomorrow, these are wind gusts, not nearly as bad. And as we get into the day Sunday, not as bad. So not as much wind over the weekend. Forecast tonight, rain and wind will continue. The windiest period is now until about 10 or 11 o'clock. 63 for the low. During the day tomorrow, there will be showers around, but there won't be as much wind, a high of 71. After that, still some leftover showers on Sunday. I don't think anything real big, maybe into early Monday, but most of next week is looking good. A week from today, Jack, looking a whole lot better for football. Sunny in 78.